Hi there. So let's roll another video related to stable diffusion using Comfy UI, but have in mind that pretty much uh, all the all the knowledge that you're going to gain here is from Fedorville to some other interface like Auto Automatic 11.11. Previous video, I mentioned a little bit, I went back to Automatic 11.11. So it's a good idea to do comparisons, but to summarize, most of the time Comfy UI tends to be a little bit faster, but Automatic 11.11 has, uh, you can, in some, for some options like Control Net, it's easier to use. It is up to you later. We'll do a video comparing since, but let's say that Comfy UI tends to be faster. How much? Uh, sometimes can be much faster, sometimes about 10%. But in any case, so in this video, let's talk about uh, LoRa and LCN. So LoRa are small corrections to your large models. I don't recall what it stands for, uh, low order, or whatever. I don't recall, but in any case, that's part of the terminology of the jargon in stable diffusion. And then we have this LCM, which is latent consistency model. And this is something relative new, you know, it can almost at the same time, you know, this and SDXL Turbo and SD 1.5 Turbo, they came almost at the same time. It was first LCM. I was a little, I was quite excited because the idea of LCN is like turbo that you can generate images much, much faster. And I'm going to show you some benchmarking, timing and quality, but then turbo came and honestly, <laughs> and right now I stay with turbo and there are a few variations that I'm going to show you because there is not only the library that you downloaded, there are some other models that you can use, but any case, the idea of LCN is to generate images in here. I always invite you to read you know, the card here. You can see that you can generate high quality images to two, two, two to eight steps. Also, you need to reduce a little bit the CFG, so read this. But what is also interesting is that the images that you generate, they are about, they are 1024. They are not 512 than like in the turbo model. So here you get more quality and interesting also that you can combine this with, uh, in painting, uh, and also with some other, uh, lot of models. So I'm going to show you control net and so on. So it's very flexible, but let's say that mm, it's mixed feelings. I prefer to stay with the turbo. That is fantastic. So let's work and let me show you. As uh, this case, so as usual, I'm going to work with these very basic examples that you have in the documentation. So I'm going to use this workflow. I have my own work workflow and the LoRa workflow. Okay, the LoRa workflow is pretty much the same as the standard workflow that I recommend to use. I don't like to use that refiner. So let's work in this case. As you can imagine, also you 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 can download this library from here. By the way, so then click here and then load your tensor. This is the, the one that you need to download. You have the one also for 1.5. So be careful about that. And a lot of models, when it comes to Lora, you go to, let's say the marketplace and here just look for Lora and you're going to have a lot of lot of models. Okay. So as I mentioned, there are corrections. So let me see one that catch my eye wants to see everything training anime, female anime. Uh, uh, this one catch my eye. So basically you download this, you see there are various models and this one, you just link with your big model and it's going to do some corrections to give you this style. It is trained with images. There can be, sometimes they can be bigger than this. And what is important that you need to trigger, you have some trigger war. So you see here that you need to put this in your style, positive or negative. And for instance, let's check images. And here you see that this is your prompt and this is how it is triggered. Okay, so you have to be careful about that. You need to know how to trigger, read the documentation, what the developer is telling you, how to trigger this specific model, because sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to trigger some of them. And okay, so now let's go and let's work. And um, here I have workflow. So I mentioned that I would like to do here. So first let, let's do the LCN, okay? so. 
I have my interface here. So this is the clean interface. I recommend you to stick with this one if you want to use the SDXL. Okay, but then you can add your refiner and so on. There is no problem on that. Okay, so now let me drag and drop. I will share now this with you. So this is the image here. Let me go to the LCM. And here you go. So basically, as you can see, let me open here. I don't recommend you to do this, okay, because it tends to do to open different tabs on launch because it can use memory. Low here, and then look at that. This is your default interface. And as you compare here, the only difference is that now between the model and all this part, you are putting this box that is a LoRa. Okay, in this case, it's the LoRa LCM, very specific, but is a generic load is the same stuff. This very specific box also will read a specific entry, which is this one. So you have to be very careful. So if you use the LCN, then you link here with this scheduler, let's say, with the sampling method, and then you link it here with your sampler. Instead, using a standard loader, and let me do this again that I don't recommend to do and let's see if I have a standard no loader right there now and let me put okay I have the same bottle here so the standard loader right, as you see would be it's pretty much the same but you didn't have that extra option okay so this is very specific to the to the LCM like the turbo that you have on a specific scaler so have that in mind so as you can see now you understand also the LoRa just connect it here, put it, and everything will work. Okay, so now let me show you this case. And let me put here the standard. Okay, so, okay, I have it. Let me generate this one. Okay, let go here and Q. So I have everything set up and it's generating. So the first generation, remember that usually it will take some time. Actually, I'm generating here the, the LoRa. Uh, uh, okay, now uh, clear. Let me go here. Load default. Let's stop that one. And I want to generate this thing. Okay, entry there. Okay, and then let me use the same random number. And actually, you know, I'm doing in the long way. I already have here, so let me do since much simpler here i have it here so i want to do first the xdl base so i have there everything i set up i fix everything i have the the bottle it's a nice example i'm using the xl base so this is the previous workflow that it worked nothing new so i want to show you that i we're going to generate this image Okay, and it takes some time. So already here, I have some timings of this specific example. So basically for this case, so XDXL base default 1024, it will take about 15 seconds so after loading. And this is the image that we have. So this is very good quality. Okay, so no, <clears throat> no objection on that. But now let's use the LCM loader, which is this one here. So let me go here. You have everything. So remember that here and saving this one is saving the image, but be careful that probably better put the preview. But anyway, you have here load your Excel tensor. You need to have this load of weight. And here, they, let me remind you that you put that load of weight or the load of safe tensor, whatever you have for your library. So in my case, I'm putting all libraries in automatic 11.11. Okay, as I say, I use both of them. So here, models. You have Loda and have many libraries there. So here, this is the one that we're going to use. So I have both version 1.5 XL and many other Loda. So in this case, where you're going to use this specific, remember that this one would use this entry. So nothing to change here. And the idea here now is that this one you use less sampling steps. So usually recommended four to eight. I found in my personal experience five and when it comes to cfg also something between 1.5 3 here let me put two and let me click here and just to show you there so now you get the feeling that it's much much faster than the than this one that it was the xdl base so let me the first one is a little bit slow because it's loading but now look at it and change one parameter 
and there you go now you have the image and there is no objection that this is still a high quality image okay and remember here be careful your models use the actual image size that the model was trained for or what recommend the developer recommends so here you see 1024, here 1024, already explored that. And we can see the, the, the images are different because different training methods, not different images and so on. But the quality is, is, is amazing. And what want to show you that the SDXL LCN takes five to six seconds to generate. The XDXL base, it takes 15. That is in my computer, by the way. Okay, so if you have a much powerful uh, car this one can I have seen that it can be as low as two seconds, which is super fast Okay, so imagine that you are getting really good quality in two seconds by using this technique Okay, so this is all that I wanted to show you that you have it there and well Let's go for with a few timings here. So we have the Lora then the base then we have the SDX L with a standard Lora Okay, 15 seconds. So this is a standard Lora just to show you. So it's just loading a new library. Okay, it's not the LCN and adding that specific style. Then we have the other workflow that is the Excel with the refiner. And as you can expect, the refiner adds an overhead. In this case, it was like six seconds, five seconds. So now it's 20 seconds. And the beautiful one that I love on is the X is the XL default turbo. Okay, so let me go here and put the turbo that I have it. So the idea, remember the turbo you need to download that checkpoint, that safe tensor, you have this specific workflow, like in the LoRa that you have here a, call, uh, a specific sampler there, the LoRa LCN has an, another specific sampler. Okay, so those are the peculiarities. And let's, let's work this case. Okay, so remember first time it takes some time to load. And there you go. And now let me do something. And this is what, why I like to have the manager. You have this auto queue. And this is when things comes very impressive you now. So now I put here increment, generate, and this is real time. So this is why I love uh, this turbo. Remember the turbo was training 512. So this is the only, let's say, drawback that is not like the LCN that you have this big, uh, larger resolution, but it's still here. The timing is fantastic for me. If about five seconds, you have something more powerful. It will be two seconds, but this is unbeatable. And still you get really good quality. And remember that you can do then the ox scaling to improve everything. So let me stop here. Okay, the idea here also that you need to increase the steps. So in my personal experience, I found that two steps is very good here. So it's also, let me put it there and as you can see that will be even better and way way uh, much it will improve the quality and it still is faster and you still can increase this tree but there is a limit if you put too many steps it's going to have a strange you know composition and still here is working but in some cases you might have problems so for me two three it is okay probably four so that is parameters that you need to uh, to find yourself your parameters so this is it now you have everything here as you can see that if you want to get good resolution you have this option the lcn then you have the turbo that is amazing and the other that i want to show you that the turbo approach is uh, the turbo library okay it's not only the one by stable diffusion there are a few of those models trained by the community so there is this this called dream shaper xl Okay, and here I put the timings, and it is a little bit slower, well, a way much, much slower than the standard turbo, but about the same uh, timing here that the SDXL, and it's the same idea. In a few steps, you can you can get an images. So that one you can then load. So always it's green, okay, it's green shaper it was okay and you have it here and the very last video is comfy ui i'm going to show you how to reproduce this exactly no we're not going to get the image same image but just to show you a few things but look at that this was generated with 
Dream Shaper using a Turbo model. I have to stress the final image <laughs> image is not the original one from the Dream Shaper. There are many upscaling, and be careful about that because sometimes you will see some fantastic images using this LCNR tool when you might have the idea that you will generate this. No, you generate an external image and we showed previously that then you can do upscaling image to image to improve that and that upscaling can be time consuming. So be careful about that. So as you can see, this is a big checkpoint. Okay, large one, very good photorealistic. Uh, you can use it with Southson 24. Okay, so that's why it's also, it's a little bit slower than the original Turbo or a little bit, a little bit, no, it's slower. And then you have some advices here how to use it. So let me show you this one running. Uh, and I have the Dream Shaper here, I have an example. So basically pretty much you need to rig the your safe tensor, your checkpoint, and then use your uh, recommended or the parameters that you found that are the best ones. So in this case, for me, it's five. The noise always leave it one, leave it to one. This remember, this will be you know, uh, how 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 faithful will be to this uh, prompt. And then here, nothing else. Okay, the CFB leave it to two. And here, important the width and height of this of your latent is a southzone 24 corresponding to the same one that dimension that was used to train this model and then let me go here click the first time it's loading so it will be this extra overhead that sometimes can be five ten seconds but okay let's wait here while it's loading probably also can be a little bit slower in my case because i have many since now i have three tabs that i I don't recommend to, to load many tabs. So now here is working. Okay, so passing and generating all you know, the image, the noise in the diffusion model here, out in color, and there you go. Fantastic. So let me do and change here. And now I just click. So now that I have everything in memory, it will be much, much faster. And there you go. You have the image about five, 10 seconds. So remember always you can check here your, your timing. You can get your timing there and let me go back here. And now let me go. Okay. Let me change it here and I put another one and there you go. So this is Dream Shaper. No, this is a high resolution, very different to the Turbo that it was like close the Turbo that it was 512. This is thousand twenty four. Okay, so it will be kind of equivalent to the LCN. So this Dream Shaper can give you something equivalent and probably was trained in the same way. But do you need to put you no know, uh, like in here these specific entries? You work with the standard. Uh, turbo, okay. Remember that this is the turbo scheduler, so you use the standard turbo scheduler with uh, your new model, okay. So, now that being said, let me just show you this image. So, a little bit. So, this is the standard LCM, so the LCM, and then compare with the X SD base. So, remember that they are different because different models, but the resolution is pretty much. The same. I cannot say anything about this. Way much faster, three times faster than this. Okay, but that being said, it would be up to you to choose your workflow, how to work. Then here I will compare these two. So this is the base and this is the one with the refinement. As I say, honestly, in my personal workflows, I don't see any improvement using refinement and you are adding some overhead, but it's up to you. Okay, so there is not much different there. And then to show you then you have the turbo so the turbo okay and um, for maybe compare the turbo with with this one uh, with lcn so the resolution is lower 512 but then remember that but this was amazingly fast remember that you cannot scale so we apply the first of scaling and now you will get something like this that likely have a better resolution like, like than this one and then you can go to the second pass. So this is a two step. So remember the first step, you can do it in pixel space. So basically this was pixel space and then the AI model will add something now to resolve better now. The contours and then you go to the second one that is latent space, but in latent space, in this case, 
I kept very low the denoise, so I would be very close to my starting start image. So basically, let's compare this one. I can zoom in this one. You see that basically the resolution is much lower here. I assume you have better resolution, and this is the the fantasy of the AI model just trying to resolve that. And the same we can go in this one. Okay, so here it's less fantasy, but much, much lower. So there you go. I show you different workflows, the LCN, the last one. So at this point, as I said, it's up to you to choose a way to get your starting images. Honestly, I like to use the Turbo, and as I saw, show you, you have this Dream Shaper that can give you good Im images. And then from that starting Turbo, I can move and do aux scaling, but the LCN gives you also good results. Finally, now let me show, show you a pure LoRa. So this was a LoRa, the LCN, but let's move to a pure, pure LoRa here. And let me go to this one, put it here. So remember that you just need to add this load LoRa, always double click and you check here and you will have it there. There are, there are different models, it's up to you. And then just connect the LoRa. You can connect multiple LoRa's by the way. So you just put the another one and connect and that's all. And we have it here and let me put the keywords. Oops. There, and let me generate. So basically the idea is that now you have this in between and it's going to add this style. So there are many of them so in this case we're generating now this bottle you now with this with a nature inside whatever or nature about uh, around so i'm using this specific lot of weight and let me go here and let me look for nature lot there are many i have to stress nature lot and this is the one I'm using. And you have to be really careful because you need to know how to trigger this model, okay? It's not only putting put in here in your workflow and then putting these values that I recommend leave one and one, okay? There's no need to change it. But then you need to trigger that and give some weight to that. So when you look at here, they will tell you how to trigger this model. Okay, so this is a specific trigger war. Let me go here and use a little better here. So see that how you trigger that. You put this keyword there and then they, and sometimes there are, the, there are these differences that they mentioned that the trigger war is realistic, but in this case, it's better to use this one. So usually the name, the LoRa models are triggered like this. Now LoRa, then colon, the name of, of the, of the, of the file of the safe tensor or some other keyword, and then you give a weight. Okay. And then also you can add, for instance, in this case, realistic. Okay. What's the trigger word to give more weight? So let's go back here. Okay. Sometimes it's... Okay. Nature load up. Okay, so here, as you can see, also be careful, get the right model for the, the right loader for your model. So this is SDXL, so they need to be compatible. Sometimes you can use it between 1.5 to 1 so on, but they don't, you don't get good results. So basically here you have a trigger word they mentioned that you can put it also, but you have, you need to add that, the other keyword as well. So now basically you have it there. Yeah, it's the right keyword word which also will be another keyword for to have more realistic images. You go there and this is it. So a starting image and now we put that specific LoRa model that is going to add a new style. Basically it's like adding on some, some styling your, 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 your image. And let's see what happens here. Okay. So it's doing its magic and here were so now with this new loader so pay attention that we only add that new weight this is what we have so probably is adding more weight to the nature inside the bottle okay and just to show you another example and this is quite nice i really like so let me go here since some 
So there is a LoRa or not one. There are many LoRa models just to to give scenes and style to your to to your images. So the one that I'm using, I don't recall. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Uh, uh, is this one SDXL since on a style so same idea look at that you do your images and then you can just stylize that in since and I will show you with this bottle example and probably one of these figures but always always important you need to know how to trigger this one so here you have a specific how to trigger so you need to add the keyword note since on a style and there how to trigger that and let's do it so i have it already here so let me go and there you go since in the style let's do the same model let me put it there okay so these are the trigger words trigger war and then at the weight of the lora library and then you have these separate ways that you also can control but my advice is i say leave it one to one but you can play with this now let's see what happens when we add this this model, this Synsonize. And there you go, it's doing its magic and let's see what happens. And there you go, Synson style. Okay, so this is how, how they work. You basically add the style. Again, be very careful with the image size and so sometimes you can get a strange results probably here maybe you see that the kind of a signature there so probably these are these are the stuff where the negative war can avoid that so ne signature let's see if if avoid that artifact there so and just to mention here also, you can play with these options and you will see that as you keep, you erase the scenes and style, you will get on, on different outcomes, but it's important follow exactly as the developer is telling you. Okay. And yes, see that there was kind of a signature there and it was erased, much better result. Okay. So these are the cases just to stress again, no, when to use negative word, negative word added just to, to try to remove something from the composition, something added, but it's not like you are going to remove something added here. Like if you have somebody, you have hands. I've been talking about hands. That is really tricky. If you have a person with hands, it's really difficult to control that there. So it's better to control that in the composition, in the positive prompt. And that's why sometimes you see very long positive prompt because that is the idea. Get control of your image in the positive prompt. And let's do something here. Let me use one one of these prompts here to end Simpsons and uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm now going to show you what you can also connect uh, prompts or probably yeah, I can do it let me go here and let's see which one can I use not necessarily I'm going to get the same results now because it also depends on the library so probably this is a nice one let's see if we can reproduce. So I really like one, this one CV AI, because always they put there you now all the keywords and you can reproduce or you can try to reproduce because always you need the exact same version and so on. So let me go here. We have all these negative words there. But I'm gonna put it here. And what else do we have here? So see that also, let me go and copy everything let me go here and there you copy all your generation data and you can see everything so you have positive negative 20 step the standard da, 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 777 okay so you can try to reproduce here the da, 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 this one 777 no warranty that I will get something similar. And see that what I mentioned that sometimes you see those nice images, but they have upscaling. There is upscaling. And see here that all these upscalings, I'm going to skip that one. I'm not going to do, but then you will see that the images, they look fantastic, but because later there is a scaling and this scaling can be very expensive. And I think this one, it is enough. There you go. Fantastic.
Okay, we get Simpson style. And let's see what happens if I remove that Simpson style. Let me go here and now let's do the image. So this is the idea of the Lora. So it's a mini model. It's like, remember, we, I also introduced the textual inversion. It's also a very small model. It's training very specific words and images that you can try to put here in the prompts to trigger some, some particular effect. Okay, so it's almost done there. And there you go, the original image. Okay, and you can see the strong influence. This is nice, by the way. And then adding the, the Simpson eyes, you get the, the Simpsons effect. So I think at this point, yeah, we, we have covered a lot. And let me revisit here, examples. So I'm working in these examples. I recommend you to stick with this, but then you are going to find very, very crazy workflows when it comes to here. Also, you can, you can look for Confi UI workflows here in Civic AA, and you might be, yeah, there are many of them workflows. So for instance, this one, and then you can then load no, the image and, and then you will use it. But these are, can be very, very complicated. And actually, let me go, Confi UI workflows. Okay, you have this website that is really good also, and you have many workflows there. And just to show you a few, how it can be, how complicated it can be. So let me click in that one, and then you show the graph here. So actually, this is not that complicated. So there you have how they manage. And usually in all these workflows, you are going to see many, many uh, ox scalings and so on and so on. So actually, this is a simple one. So kudos to that to the developer because it's not that difficult not to the one that did that that workflow. So probably for instance this one. Okay, in this one you have ox scaling and let's go and there should be a few ox scalings there. Okay, sampler, latent ox scale. So it also it's very simple. It's very simple. There are two latent ox scale. So many times you are going to, to find many ox scalings and see that you have a lot of models in between. And here you have all the dependencies and so on. So this is another very good market marketplace if you want to go into complicated stuff. But honestly, these workflows, I think it will be more than enough to get you working. So at this point, I'm done with this video. We have two more videos here. One, next one, I'm going to show you a little bit in painting. Okay, so I'm going to go back to a previous case, the one that we have the library and all the girl in the library and how to fix that hand. And then I'm going to show you the final case that it will be here in Civic AI. And let me go back to the models that I mentioned. So you try to reproduce, we're going to try to reproduce and um, that was Dream Shaper. Okay. This image, and I'm going to show you a few a few tricks and things you now on how to get all the information here. It's very important how to uh, reproduce all those steps. So thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye.